Good morning from Universal Studios Florida. We are back for another What's New at Universal Orlando and I'm gonna start here. Unfortunately, I can't start over by the DreamWorks construction yet because this section of the park opens an hour later now. It's a new update. So from Central Park through World Expo is closed off and it's barricaded and there's a team member there informing guests they can't walk through there. Over here, the construction is almost finished around the gate. We've got the Mardi Gras parade coming up. Oh yeah. There's still construction walls up towards the back by the gate, but the pavement out front looks nice and fresh. Universal's horror makeup show is going to close for a couple days this month. 16th, 17th, and 18th. It should reopen on the 19th. No new updates on Mel's, but the windows used to look like they were painted, and now it looks like they're covered in plastic, so maybe that's a step in the right direction. No neon signs or anything. I also heard that Drive-In and Dance might have been extended a little bit into February, so that's good. Come see them. The Christmas decorations around Battery Park have been removed and it's getting ready for Mardi Gras and the menu boards are blank still. Hopefully an announcement maybe next week. We're getting really close. They have some equipment set up now. The other day I was here and it was empty so this is a start. And right behind there are some trusses set up, so maybe we'll get some like Mardi Gras lighting. Unless it's something for the lagoon. I don't think so. It looks kind of temporary. So I'm thinking it's for Mardi Gras. And speaking of the lagoon, let's take a look. We've got a lot of updates in the lagoon. Looks like they're installing new fountains. There are new projectors, lots of new stuff out here, even in just the last few days. There are six of these pieces here, the new large pieces here on the corners. There are four in the front and two in the back. And then we have new projectors and some of them are pointed at the buildings and some of them are pointed at the water. So here is where you can see the fountains in the lagoon. And then here is one new projector and this one is pointed at the buildings. This projector here at the bottom with the scaffolding around it is new and this one is pointed in the direction of the water. Right across from Starbucks there are two more new projectors and they are set up on platforms and these are also pointed towards the building. It's a little gray outside and it's really early so I'm sorry if the lighting's not great. So these are pointed at the buildings. Universal Studios Florida hasn't had a nighttime lagoon show since the hurricane damaged the projectors back in 2022 20, during uh, Halloween Horror Nights uh, Ghoulish. Ghoulish was canceled very early on and we haven't had a show since. Not too many changes here. It's getting a little more detailed. And here's another look from another angle. More Mardi Gras prep over here next to Cafe La Bamba. There's some equipment here. Flip top cooler. 
the bar in the Transformers extended queue is starting to be set up. And they fixed the sign at Richter's a little bit. Inside Bake My Day, one of the walls that used to have all merchandise has become a bulk candy wall. I just blanked out on the term. A bulk candy wall. So it's, you know, make your own mix, $17 per pound. And there is a nice little variety of sweets here to choose from. Just grab a bag, fill it up, and it is priced based on weight. So interesting change in here. No signs of the Mardi Gras tribute store yet. The Hello Kitty Chucky merchandise has been restocked in the Hello Kitty store. They have not had this bag since like last summer. It's the first time we've seen it back. Obviously some people have already shown up and grabbed some. The wallet's back. Now let's see what's happening at Islands of Adventure. And first up here in Port of Entry, the wait time sign has been demolished. It's gone. I could see the top of it before when the construction walls first went up a few days ago. Uh, last year, Universal Studios Florida also got rid of their wait time sign and it got updated. So I have a feeling it's Islands of Adventure's turn. But I will also point out the construction wall signs still have the old Islands of Adventure logo. Last week, I might have pointed out that the construction walls at Universal Studios Florida have the new logo. But don't worry, even if you don't have the app, you can still see the wait times on this little temporary board up here. But don't ask for a map. None of that here. <laughs> construction walls have been extended around the side of Circus McGurkis. In our last update, we saw inside and only the entrance was blocked off, but now the walls go all the way over here. Snookers and Snookers Sweet Candy Cookers and Seuss Landing has Hoo Hash and they also have the Grinch Onion Cheesecake Tart. Those were both available in the Holiday Tribute Store, which is now closed. The green snack stand in Marvel has a name and a sign now, and it looks beautiful. It is now the Daily Bugle Snacks and Drinks. RIP Chomp Hot Dogs, I'll never forget you. Construction walls are up around the entrance of the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man, but don't worry, the attraction is still open. You will need to enter on the side near Toon Lagoon. And here is the entrance for Spider-Man during the refurbishment. Probably only a couple weeks, shouldn't be too long. It's just, you know, some little pavement repair. 75 minute wait though. There we go, 75 minute wait. This guy is getting refreshed. More refurbishment in Toon Lagoon. The rocket that usually blasts mist or kind of like water is being redone, as you can see. The little skunk is back here. Usually there's like a cactus that's kind of rocking here with some characters on it. So maybe it'll be back soon. Jurassic Park River Adventure is closed for its annual refurbishment. It should reopen on February 2nd, which is when Popeye and Bluto's Bildrat Barges will go down for their refurbishment. Lots of work happening around the drop here at River Adventure. Well, that didn't last long. The Jurassic 30th anniversary medallions that were in the machine here are gone now. They went back to the originals. So here's a sign in the nursery that says there's an operational update that egg hatches for all species will now be anticipated hourly around the 30 to the 40 mark. 
I've never named one. I need to name one. So not only are there fewer egg hatchings, there's no more baby Triceratops meet and greet, and there aren't any eggs in these machines. I have seen several guests questioning where do they get the eggs because there are directions on how to use these and no eggs. So, you know, what's going on here? As for CityWalk, construction walls are up around the Universal Legacy store. It's closed now. Something new is coming. <laughs>